been six now arriving in the 40 foot container just coming into our um, lock up here now so it shouldn't be long till she touches down here and I'll get back to the I'll get back to you when that happens here she comes down now Shipment 6 is how it comes down off the uh, truck itself. Shouldn't be too long. Touchdown! Okay, so this is what it looks like when you've emptied out nearly 80 bikes from a 40 foot container in two and a half hours. Yes, two and a half hours, it's a uh, dog's work. But uh, we have some really nice little bikes like this. I can't even remember the name, but futuristic Yamaha though. 200 or 250 twist and go. Honda CB 400 S. The Honda Helix 250, I believe. Very, very popular. Yamaha VMAX original 88 full power. Three, a 50, Honda 50, uh, Honda 50 Little Cub, and another Honda 50, Honda Zoomer in red. A Honda 50 in a lovely blue color, Honda Little Cub in red. A Piaggio Chow, another Honda 50 in blue, a Super Cub one. A green one, another green one there, that's an 80s or 70s model. The CB125S from the 70s, Honda CB400SS Stealth Black. Very nice. Suzuki Van Van 200, not the 125, so a much nicer version of the bike. Another 50 here, another 50, and another 50 electric start. Moving on then through, that's all the wood from the container that we have to take out. We have to take out everything from the container. So you'll see in here we have um, all the duvets and cardboard as used to protect the bikes on their way down. Uh, we'll do the outside because it's just a bit cold. We'll do the outside last. But we have some very nice little bikes coming through here. As you can see, <laughs> there's a lot to go through. If I can even get through and try muster my way. Here we go. There we are. Okay, so starting from the back then. Kawasaki KX80 in the corner, TLM50, a C90 Custom DT125, Little Cub 50, a what you call it? 50cc two stroke two speed 50cc thing. Vespa 50cc with only 100 kilometers on it. Black Zoomer, Blue Zoomer, White Little Cub, very rare with bare, bare seat, beige seat. Hot Black Honda Zoomer, Honda C90, Black Honda Zoomer, Kawasaki 250TR. I just fished off by mistake. 250TR, the big K, really nice, only 3,000 kilometers or something around there, that. that. That's an XLR 250R Honda, Honda CB 400 S here, another Zoomer, Kawasaki 650 single, very rare, a Cero 225, Iron Zoomer, another Iron Zoomer, 50 there, a CL360 SR400, a Dio, Honda Dio 50 there, an MZ250, Steed 400, Right there, so a lot of bikes, and RX 50 two stroke, um, 50cc Honda Zoomer, Honda MD 50, CD 50 Benley, Honda's GB 250 Clubman, uh, not SRV 250, very rare with only 5,000 kilometers on the clock. A Spada 250, we have two of them as well, right here, really nice bike. CG125, 2009 with 80 miles on the clock. So brand new again, the other Spada right here. Kawasaki Estrella 250, another black Zoomer, 
Neos, uh, our uh, Russian Mobile, uh, the Aprilia 125 RS, the 90 CT110, brand new, 2016. The first of the Kawasaki Ninja 250s, Yamaha Cero 225. We have a 70s Honda 50 here, or an 80s, I'm not sure. GSXR 250RR, MD50 in metallic red, another 50 there. Two Suzuki Verdes, very nice. Honda Chali, 50 in red, Super Cub Cobra, Yamaha YB14 in blue, very, very nice. But plenty of, plenty of bikes here. Um, it's now five o'clock, so it took us six hours to get to this position, so it'll be probably another six hours probably three or four hours now getting them all into the our uh, warehouse and then after that it's going to be probably an hour and a half to two hours per bike so you're looking at about 160 hours of man hours just to get the bikes up and running and then you're going to look at probably an hour for each bike for advertising and so on maybe even more so you can see the work that goes into it all right just going to put in here at the end of the video what you've seen of the footage we got on the day um, it's not an awful lot because when you're in that situation you know you have to get 80 bikes out of a container within two and a half hours so you don't have any time to do anything except for concentrating on getting the the uh, bikes out safe and uh, not damaged and, and so on because if you go over the two and a half hours you're then charged uh, for every, you know, if you go over that uh, limit, you get charged 100 euros per hour. As well as that, we actually have to pay for the drop down, as you saw in the video, of the um, 40 foot container itself onto the ground. That's an extra thousand euros in itself. Um, so, but it really helps. But, uh, you know, you can see where the, the, the charges start to kind of build up. You don't want another thousand euros on the end of it. Um, as well as that, you can hear in my voice and the way I can't remember things, I'm absolutely shattered after uh, doing all that work. Uh, it's a lot of work. We did have help from uh, Dennis, as you can see here on the right-hand side, and this is my uh, father here in the middle. So what I did do is I tried to get um, some pictures of everything, so I can try to explain it a bit better at the end here than I did in the video itself. So this is what happens when you open up the container itself. You're greeted to with all these bikes stuffed into uh, a 40 foot container each one of them is tied down twice with string either side also you can see these um, kind of little blocks of wood where the tires are put in so each and every one of them uh, has to be taken out so by the way everything has to be taken out all the duvets all the wood everything has to be left spotless in the container uh, when you leave it when it's come to get taken so everything has to be taken out and each one of these blocks has to be painstakingly taken out with a crowbar uh, as you go so it's not really the most enjoyable day as much as it might seem it's just another angle of the first bike coming out was which was the honda chali and this is the picture of us and uh, my dad here in the back after the top row has gone out so you can see the uh, kind of sheets of wood over the top and all the kind of t t beams that they put down all of that has to come out and as well as the bikes we then use a ramp uh, which i didn't get a picture of unfortunately but we use a ramp from the top row here and move it down onto uh, the bottom then as well and move on again just another picture of that and there you can see the bottom row and you see all the cushions and the bikes all smashed in together into one Another picture at the bottom, and again at the top. As you can see, all the cardboard has to come out. And here's just some of the bikes that are out at the end then, when we're kind of finished. Yeah, I'm not, not going to keep this too uh, 
too long but you can see all the see all the cushions going straight into the van all the duvets everything so um and all the wood there so that's the amount of wood that comes out of a container it's uh, it's a lot of wood it's a, a lot of work to get out and then this is the man putting uh putting the 40 foot back up uh, who was a bit of a nuisance on the day but we won't go into that um, then again, just more pictures of the bikes at the end. There's lovely two uh, late 60s, Honda 50s from the fire station there. You can just see our Fusion or Helix 250 as well. Lovely little Cobra there too. All these bikes are then going to be for sale. So if you do spot anything that takes your fancy, then uh, do get in touch in the comment section or to our Facebook page or whatever. But... Um, more bikes on here, just filling them up. There's my GSXR 250RR. More again, and I think we we're coming to the end kind of thing. But um, well, here's a video of play. Just showing how the bikes come in. Um, but each and every one of these bikes, then, if I just go back here. Each and every one of the bikes has this kind of a grease over them to keep them from rusting and uh, going bad in the container. Each one of them has to have carb done, oil service, tires checked, cleaned and valeted, uh, registered then with all the paperwork from then on, which is about each bike then paperwork wise probably takes um, probably an hour at home per one plus an hour um, with the registration office uh, down at our site. So here you can see 160 hours already gone in there. Two hours, most definitely two hours per bike to advertise because um, we have to do, the way we do with photos and video, editing onto YouTube, edi then onto Facebook, on Instagram, our done deal page, and so on. Um, so if you think <laughs> we're making a fortune out of this it's uh, certainly not it's definitely more of a uh, a nuisance and a hobby a bad hobby than a, than a, a big business making a, a lot of money but um at the end of the day we do love bikes so uh, it's the trade off that that you have to go for but um i will have another video where uh, we're going to go through how customs uh, treated us uh, and how this uh, nearly kind of put the whole company into into liquidation I would nearly say and how it nearly uh, like y we're nearly you know y you would have said okay after this shipment that's it because we just can't deal with with customs anymore and the treatment that they that they've given us um, over the last two or three shipments has just been ridiculous and uh, so we will have a video of that coming out and um, if you do want to see that uh, do leave a comment and a like and I'll get that video out probably in the next week or so as you can see I'm quite busy with all this so the videos have slowed down slightly in the last few weeks uh, but they will pick up again when I we get all these registered and I'll start doing videos on each and every one of them um, but that's kind of it, it won't go on too long I know I've been doing this for 7 minutes and there's about 5 minutes to either one so um, but that's it and um, if you have liked the video please do like and also subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one